Here, we're given a Fourier pair and we're asked for the Fourier transform of something very similar to what we're given, except there's this shift in time by t naught. So it's a translated version of the same function we're given. So it's natural we would look to the time shift property of the Fourier transform that says if you ever have a shift in time, then the spectrum is unchanged except for multiplication by some complex exponential. So it's a phase term, e to the power minus j omega a, where a is your phase shift. So in our case, the spectrum would be unchanged, alpha squared plus omega squared. We'd simply multiply by minus j omega t naught. So that's direct application of the time shift property.